Hi dolls, welcome to episode two of What Would Dochi Do? I am so excited for the second episode because the first episode was real dope. So now we're gonna go ahead and get straight into the second episode. On last week's episode, it was some cool stuff, a lot of school-based things. I think that this time around, it's gonna be a little bit more diverse. Um, today, I'm running very late for work, so we're gonna have to speed it up. I'm only gonna be doing five today, maybe even four, maybe even four so we're just gonna get right into it we're gonna zoom past these get what we got to do done and then next week i'll take a little bit more time and hopefully i'm off next week so that i have to so that i have time to film for you guys so let's get right into it okay so the first one says hey doji i have a question regarding getting a job i'm 16 years old about to be a junior and i still don't have one i've been applying online a lot and some in person i want to be able to chip in to help my mom with the expenses of the last of my last two years in high school so it could be top notch i have no experience in working and i've gotten a call and i haven't gotten a call for an interview yet please help okay i can't get you a job because like i wish i could just be like here employed but i can't do that so in this case i'll tell you what i did i obviously applied pretty much everywhere and i I don't want to say waited the reason why I got the job at Chipotle is because it's a new Chipotle that's opening so they needed employees so try to find a place that basically somewhere new is about to open and then apply for that and most likely you'll get the job because they need employees make sure that you're on top of your game and when you interview make sure you know about the company because if you don't know about the company that you're interviewing for it's like you know what I'm saying make sure that you're being lively and absolutely yourself and as far as you wanted to chip in to help your mom I think that's really dope you should save up your coins um yeah don't rush it I mean it is what it is when it happens it'll happens but it'll happen but just continue applying like you're already doing and you should be good okay this one says, so girl, I want to ask you if you want to get a boyfriend, what do you do? I don't want to get one until I'm 21, but I'm just asking for advice, okay? Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything bad. P.S. I love you and thanks. Okay, I love you too. So how I feel about boyfriends right now? <laughs> no. Um, I think that it's cool that you want to wait until you're 21. I mean, do your thing. I don't know why you chose 21. Um, I'm allowed to date when I am 17. And either way, I made a vow to God in the seventh grade, I think it was, that I wasn't going to date until I turned 17 anyway. But um, I mean, obviously, I could have obviously went behind my mom's back and had a boyfriend, but I chose not to do that. <laughs> but anyway, I made a vow to God that I was going to wait until I was 17 to start dating. And now I'm reconsidering the age thing. I'm reconsidering dating um, at the stage of my life. I, I don't honestly, I don't really want to get involved with a guy seriously until I have my stuff together because I don't have my stuff together. And I feel like everybody's so quick to rush into a relationship and they don't even have themselves together. So it's like... If you don't have you together, how are you going to try to be with somebody else? How are you going to be together with somebody? Just, you know. I think that it's cool that you're trying to wait until you're 21 and you said you're asking for advice. I Continue to wait. I mean, there's no rush. Boys aren't going anywhere. They've been on the planet as long as we have. They're not going anywhere. There's a billion of them, I promise you. So it's like, it's no rush. It's really not a big deal. If you want to wait till you're 21, then go ahead and wait till you're 21 because 21 is around the time where you're finishing high school. I mean, I'm sorry, you're finishing college anyway. So I think that that's the time where you're kind of, you know, trying to, you're settling in, you're getting really serious about your life. The playtime is over. You're now a real adult and things are getting real. So for you to wait, I think that's really awesome. I think that um, girls and guys, I think people should wait um, a little bit to start dating because it can be one a distraction and two it can be torment I am not doing this no I'm so sick of this all these middle schoolers stop emailing me oh I had a dream about this boy that has had a crush on me since I was six <laughs> we still talk but I never really liked him like that but at the same time no, but at, but I had the same dream like three times and we always end up in the same bed. I don't know what this really means. I don't know if it has something to do with what happened when I was 10. I used to get beat up by my cousin a lot and he was always there for me. In the dream, he took my virginity. 
okay what do you want like what do you why did you tell me that yeah why did you tell me that i don't know i mean okay you have dreams what what is this what would dochi do it's a dream just because you had a dream that you lost your virginity to him doesn't mean that you need to go out or it's a sign from god <laughs> or a sign that you need to go out and lose your virginity to him just because you had a dream about him it doesn't mean that y'all are meant to be it means that he's just been on your mind lately and you had a dream about him it doesn't mean anything like girl if you don't move on boy if you don't get your next what the heck hi dochi before i start i just want to say that i love and watch all of your videos you're amazing <sighs> Thank you. Um, so to get straight to the point, I have four friends that I hang out with at lunch. By the way, I'm going into my sophomore year of high school. So when me and my friends are hanging out at lunch, there's this girl I used to hang with in eighth grade who sometimes sits with us. Sometimes when she sits with us, she starts talking about us like, why are we always together? And also, she's one of those girls who you can always see talking about someone. Mm hmm. Also, I was a new student in eighth grade when I met my four friends. And one day at lunch, this was my freshman year, she pointed a, her finger at me saying she doesn't know why I always follow my friends around and where I came from. And one of my friends were agreeing with her, but I think he was just as confused as I was. Anyway, if this happens again during my sophomore year, I want to know how I would approach her and what do you do and what do I do if she goes off on me? This would be my first time in this type of situation. So Dochi, what would you do? First of all, she hasn't done it yet. So I don't know why you're worrying about that. So you're worried that she's going to do it again. You scared of her or something, girl? If you're worried that she's going to do it again, wait until she does it again. She ain't done nothing like just chill. But if she does it again, she just asking you why you with your friends say because they're my friends <laughs> they're my friends what i'm supposed to not be with them like we're squad you mad because you're not in the clique or something is she in the clique she not in the clique is that why she mad i mean if she just talking from the other side of the cafeteria something some why you always following them around blah, blah, blah. if she being indirect about it let her be indirect you ain't gotta approach her at that point because she being indirect so I'm with my friends because I'm with my friends. Why are you mad? I'm sorry, y'all. This pork chop is so good. Mmm. This is gonna be the last one. Oh, this is for my baby. I can't say her name though. Hey, boo. LOL. Okay, so I'm going to keep this short. LOL. What is your definition of a true friend? Okay. I'm not going to give you like a definition of a true friend, but I'm going to give you a description of what I think a true friend is like and characteristics a true friend should have. A true friend is a friend that can humiliate themselves, that can humble themselves to better your friendship. I can be very prideful at times. I do not like to apologize. I do not like to admit when I'm wrong. But I'll give you an example of a true friendship. Me and Kendra, we have a true friendship, okay? So I will humiliate myself, even when I don't even think I'm wrong. I will humiliate myself and I will say, I apologize. And I was wrong. And I apologize for offending you. I apologize for what I said that you felt was disrespectful. I apologize for disrespecting you and I do you can humiliate yourself. If your friend can't humiliate themselves for the sake of your feelings or your friendship, it ain't real. A true friend is someone who is honest with you. I am a good liar. I can lie. It's just what it is and I'm real about it. I can lie. If I wanted to lie, I can lie. And you wouldn't know I was lying. A good liar is someone who can lie and you never find out that it was a lie. That's what a good liar is. I do not lie to my friends, <laughs> period. I do not lie to my friends. I would never, and I don't. A true friend is someone who can be brutally honest with you, who can tell you anything, and if they can't, or they feel like they are not ready to tell you, they'll be raw and say, look, I just can't talk about it right now. A true friend is someone who is transparent with you. A true friend is someone who is selfless with you. They selflessly love you. You guys have um, a bond together. 
it's not even like you just hang out there's a love there it's a it's a it's a bond in the relationship and you guys can communicate and talk about any and everything and feel absolutely comfortable a true friend is someone who points out your flaws and helps you to get better to better your flaws a true friend is someone who can tell you look you are a hot mess but i love you anyway all my friends my true friends they all know my problems. They all know my flaws. They all know what I'm struggling with. But they said, look, you have these type of issues, but I love you anyway. A true friend accepts you as nothing more than as you are and loves you for nothing more or less than as you are. That's what a true friend is in my definition. A true friend is someone who loves you selflessly. Selflessly. Who protects you and who's willing to do any and everything for you. A true friend is someone who would really take a bullet for you or either slap you in the face and tell you this whole situation was stupid and I hate you, but I'm still going to take this bullet for you. That's a true friend in my definition. You also know it's real when they come in the house. Wait, what was I about to say? A true friend... It's somebody that you can pray with. A true friend is someone who can minister to you, who can minister in your life. A true friend is someone who is an asset and not a liability to you or your family or anybody else around you. A true friend is somebody who you can count on. This one says, hey, I love you and your videos. I have been best friends with my best friend for almost two years now. She's a terrible friend. She basically bullies me. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to cut her off. Because one, she's a psycho and will probably socially destroy me. <laughs> You're right. Two, she has this picture I sent to a boy that got me in trouble. And she'll probably post it on Instagram. Mm. And three, all of my close friends will probably choose her over me. And then I'll be a loner. What do I do? By the way, I'm going to be a freshman. Thanks. Do you? That's it. Do you? Cut her off. Cut her off. Just cut her off. Whatever risk it takes with cutting her off, cut her off. You need to tell your mom what's going on. You do. You need to tell your mom what's going on, your daddy or a counselor or whoever. Tell them what's going on. And... You don't want to be her friend no more. Cut her off and take just whatever consequence, I guess, happens, happens. Honestly, if I wasn't someone who people looked up to, like, I would tell you to catch her in the alley, pull her in a corner where nobody can see, and beat the living sh I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> sort of. But seriously, yeah, just cut her off. And whatever she does, she does. But if you don't want to be her friend no more, her friends don't want to... She's obvi She's not your friend. I think you know that. You're not stupid, right? 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 I mean, she's not your friend. Y'all aren't, Y'all aren't friends. Like, she's obviously just a bully. And she got some issues. Like, it sounds to me like she has rejection issues. Like, she doesn't want anybody. You know, like, abusive husbands will be like... Like, you ain't leaving me. Like, you ain't leaving her. Like, she is not playing no games with you. So, I recommend either one, you beat the crap out of her. Two. <laughs> Two. Tell your mama what's going on and let her help you. Or three, just tell her that you're just not going to be her friend anymore. No and if she puts you out and she air your business, obviously you need to get parent involved. Or you can press charges on her. You can press charges for stuff like that. So if she airs out your picture that you sent, definitely press charges. Um, cut her off. And there's nothing wrong with being a loner. Like, it's okay to be by yourself. And if you have to, if you'd rather stick up or stick with people who treat you like crap and lower your worth just so that you can be around people, then I think you're lame. And if you don't know how to be by yourself, you better figure it out because you're gonna be lonesome. I'd rather be for me alone than be with people who are not for me, <laughs> but be with people. Like if you're gonna be alone and be alone, so what, do you? What do you do? Do you. Thank you all so much for watching the second episode of What Would Dochi Do? Don't forget to submit your, um, God dang it. Don't forget to submit your um, situations inside of my email. Don't forget to also follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, on uh, Snapchat, on everything you possibly can. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. Go ahead and comment down below what you thought about this second episode. I know it kind of felt like a little bit of low energy and it's only because I'm kind of in a rush because I gotta go. And plus I couldn't read through every single admission because there are actually really a lot of them. So next week I'm gonna go ahead and finish the ones that I got submitted this week. 
and we'll carry them over to next week and then the new ones and we'll roll I'll get to everybody in due time I love you guys so much and don't forget that I love you <laughs> okay bye guys Mwah. Yeah.